guys this is 16th video of 8057 theories my name is milan sha and today's topic is serial data register now 8057 microcontroller has two serial data register first is s buff and second is s con now let's talk about s con s con is 8 bit register it is bit or byte addressable its address is 98h Now, as you can see here, these are the eight bytes. Now, let's talk about the R1 first, RI first. It is receive interrupt flag, and it is set by hardware at the end of the eighth bit in mode zero, or halfway through the stop bit time, in other modes. So, in mode zero, mode zero is shift register. and it is set after the 8 bit means half of the address it is set by the end of the 8 bit time in mode 0 this ti bit is transmit interrupt flag it is also set by hardware at the end of the 8 bit time in mode 0 or at the beginning of the stop bit in other modes now in other modes mode 1 2 and 3 these are the 8 bit modes so after the 8 end of the 8 bit means 9 bit in other modes it is used as stop bit so when this bit is 1 then we can we can get information about the process or where it where it is going okay so these are the ti and ri transmit interrupt and receive interrupt rb8 is the bit which is used after the 8 bit means it is the ninth bit data bit that was received if our data is 16 bit and if we are transmitting serially then after the 8 bit rb8 is set to 1 so we know that this 8 bit are received and this 9th bit shows that the other bits 8 bits are on the way in receiving set or at the receiving if sm2 is equal to 0 RB8 is the stop bit that was received in mode zero. RB8 is not used in mode zero means this. It is shift register, so it is not like eight bit UART. So it is not not used in that. But in SM2, RB8 is the stop bit. Means after after the eight bit, nine bit is used to stop. Same for T B eight for transmission. Now this S M two, S M one, S M zero. Let's talk about S M zero and S M one. S M zero and S M one are serial port mode specifier. These two bit specify is the mode. So for mode zero, it is shift register and its port it is F oscillator divided by twelve. means the frequency of oscillator divided by 12 the mode zero describes 8 bit uart and its baud it is variable the mode two describes 8 bit uart but the baud it is different here its baud it is either f oscillator by 64 or f oscillator by 32 now in mode three it is used as 8 bit uart And it baud rate is variable. Now let's talk about SM2. It enables the multi-processor communication feature in mode two and three. Now in mode two and or three, if SM2 is set to one, then RI will not be activated if the received ninth bit is zero. Means if SM2 is one and If there are eight bit data, then obviously ninth bit data is zero. 
and in mode one means this mode. If SM two is equal to one, then RI will not be activated if a valid stop bit was not received. So we have to give a stop bit to stop this RI or receive interrupt. Now in mode zero, SM two should be zero because there is no such kind of 8 bit you are thing in sm 0 and sm 1 mode 0 so no need of sm 2 so this is the s con and we will know about this s con more in our programming videos so thanks for watching